feel when new glucose network uploads. Uh, yeah, so checking out, catching up on my subs right now. About to go on a ride. I am going to the Chargers and Bears game today, so I'm actually pretty stoked about it. Uh, I'm gonna be going with my dad, so uh, it's gonna be pretty sick to, you know, get some time with him and uh, just time to clear my head and stuff like that. So I'll be going with my family and that'll be pretty cool. So I'm gonna go hit a ride up. Yeah, so it should be an awesome day. Stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. Wait, how the hell is John Cena on Good Morning America? Alrighty, guys, back from my ride. Oh my goodness, as you can see, we got destroyed. I did not expect it to rain like it did. So I didn't even expect it to rain at all, but um, I got to the top of my first climb and there was this giant, like, like humongous dark cloud coming in from the ocean. And um, yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. So uh, that being said, yeah. Still got some work in anyways, which is pretty cool. Um, and then did um, some uh, light spin after to actually warm up. I was so cold. Um, but yeah, so I got everything done. And uh, yeah, right now I'm gonna be attempting to do this before I leave for the game. Cleaning up that bad boy right there. You guys can see. Yeah, that's not good. Alrighty guys, it's time to get out of here. Got her somewhat clean, but it is what it is. Not gonna bring my camera with me just because I'm gonna be with my family and I don't, I don't know if they'll um, allow um, cameras inside the stadium. So that being said, I will try to get some poverty iPhone shots for you guys. It should be pretty sick. I'm from Chicago, so in case you guys didn't know, that's why I'm going mainly just because they're playing um, the Bears. It's my home team. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna go in and Go check it out, go have fun, and uh, I'll see you guys at the stadium. Alrighty, what's up guys? Just got back from the game. It was absolutely insane. Uh, if you guys haven't catched the uh, highlights or anything like that, I think it probably was on SportsCenter. Um, well, definitely on SportsCenter. I can't remember who actually did the play or who caught it, but um, it was 16 to 19, I believe. No, 14 to 19. Bears were down, um, Chargers were winning, and my boy Jay Cutler throws and we get a touchdown at the very end. I think it was within like the last two minutes. So it was absolutely insane. So, oh my goodness, cry went wild. There were more Bears fans in Qualcomm Stadium than there were Chargers fans, no doubt about it. So it's absolutely insane to see Erlacher jerseys, Walter Payton jerseys, everything. Um, originally, um, I was born in Chicago. I don't know if you guys know or not, but yeah. So I was um, originally born in Chicago and came out here when I was really young. So I'm a, uh, I'm a SoCal kid, but Chicago is my roots. So it was awesome to go check out the Bears and go watch that with my family and have a really good time. And uh, yeah, so anyways guys, it was an awesome day overall and hope to have a good rest of the week so stay tuned for the rest of the video 
Alrighty, what's going on everybody? It is Tuesday. Got up, it is about, actually, it's awesome Tuesdays that I do have off because I get to sleep in. Uh, I don't have to wake up at 6.30 or 6 or absurdly early. Um, so yeah, right now, hoping I can go on a ride and um, yeah, clean my bike up. I really, it sprinkled last night in California, San Diego, and I don't want to get my bike wet again, so. Um, yeah, I don't know what I want to do today. I really don't. I really kind of want to just relax and not have to do homework and I don't know, um, and get some stuff done. But if I do have just a chill day, I might have to do something special. All right, everybody. So you're watching the footage right now from my ride today and uh, I really want to start taking my uh, action cam out instead of just filming this with my iPhone. But anyways, I wanted to get put this up and let everybody know, um, you know, about this ride in particular because it was one that really just stuck with me and um, not only was it uh, one of my longest rides of this year, it was one of the most mentally grueling ones and um, it's definitely something that um, I really wanted to, to talk about and uh, you know, you can see the, the footage that's up right now. Beautiful day overall, but it was one of the windiest days that I've actually ridden in and ridden um, around in in quite some time and that really not just the wind but just the coldness it was probably about 50 degrees out compared to usually riding in about 68 70 degree weather in San Diego California and right here where I'm climbing um, and it was literally like I was just pedaling into a giant wall and um, you know it really just made me think about this and why I love this and why I, I will do this every day until the day that I die and it's because um, if you find a hobby, you find a passion, something that challenges you, um, that you can do so much with, like riding a bicycle, it's, it sounds so cliche, but it's it's something that you need to keep, you, it's something you should do, it's something you should excel at, and um, I feel like overcoming goals and overcoming um, obstacles like today really um, made make me think about uh, the person that I am, and some someone I actually, well, I strive to be. Um, but that's that and um, also wanted to, to really think about too and wanted to bring up um, the mention of, of personal happiness, personal satisfaction. There was, um, again, shout out to uh, Duo over at the Glucose Network. He uploaded a video um, a few weeks ago. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. But really just goes to, to talk about everybody on social media and how that you know can perpetuate this idea of happiness really what's making these people motivated what's you know what that all looks like and it's and this is I attributed to one of these and I attributed to this as well I attributed to um, this is my version of personal satisfaction this is personal happiness for me if you're not doing what makes you happy you're not gonna flourish you're not going to um, have a happy life um, you know people are motivated by money people are motivated by drugs people are motivated by so many different things in this world and if I can use this as my motivation that's all that matters to me anything that makes you happy on a day-to-day -day basis is all that matters regardless of what anybody says so I really just wanted to bring that up to everybody um, let you guys know how much I uh, enjoyed today how much um, today really showed me it's time for some waffles let's do it
I think we forgot one thing. Do you even waffle, bro? Those feels. Forever hungry. Alrighty guys, so what we have here is the oatmeal squares hint of brown sugar from Quaker. And I have to say, I've tried the cinnamon and I really, really, really have always wanted to try this one. So I'm gonna give it a shot right now. Alrighty guys, let's see how this tastes. Well, definitely. I don't really know. It's not anything similar to what I've tried before. I wanna say it tastes sort of like the Life Cinnamon, um, the Cinnamon Life cereal, but, and it's not really, really sweet. Now, if you guys have tried these before, the oatmeal squares, they're very, they're very, um, I won't say they're like hard, it's like a hard cereal to eat, but it's definitely noticeably like, it's got a lot of texture to it. Um, but yeah, so these little these little suckers will not break down in milk at all. They're very tough. But so you guys know, it's not a very very sweet cereal. So if you're looking for something sweet, don't pick this one up. I guess it's why it's a hint of brown sugar. I get out. I get it a six out of ten. I wouldn't buy it again. The cinnamon flavor, awesome. So that's that guys.